Okay, 11a wants us to find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 minus x over 16 to the power of 9, giving our answer in its simplest form. Okay, so we are given the formula for this, which we'll have a look at in a sec. So we can say that 2 minus x over 16 to the power of 9 is approximately equal to, so let's take a look at the formula. Remember you can get the formula sheet down below in the description. So there's the formula. To be fair, I always think it complicates things, makes it look a lot scarier than it is. There is a pattern. So the first term is always the first number in the bracket to the whole power. So 2 to the power 9. And if you like, it's times minus x over 16 to the power of 0. Second term is the power choose 1. So 9 choose 1. Now the power of 2 goes down by 1. So that's now going to be 2 to the power 8. And the power of minus x over 16 goes up by 1. So we get minus x over 16 to the power 1. And then the third term is 9 choose 2 times 2 to the power of 7 times minus x over 16 squared. Okay, so those are our first three terms. Now we need to uh, simplify. So 2 to the power 9 is 512. So the minus x over 16 to the power of 0 is just 1. And 9 choose of 1 is 9. Any number choose itself is that number. Sorry, any number choose 1 is that number. Um, 2 to the power 8 is 256 and then minus x over 16 to the power of 1 is minus x over 16 and then the third term uh, 9 choose 2 is 36 2 to the power of 7 is a hundred and twenty-eight. And then we got that times minus x over 16 squared. So that's positive x squared over 16 squared. So get your calculator involved and you will get 512 Minus 144x add 18x squared. Go. Cool. Okay, next up we are given that f of x is a add bx times 2 minus x over 16 all to the power of 9 where a and b are constants. So, given that the first two terms in ascending powers of x uh, of the series expansion of f of x are 128 and uh, 36x, part b wants us to find the value of a, part c 
on to find the value of b. Okay, so we can write f of x as being approximately equal to a add bx times what we've just done in part a, so times 512 minus 144x add 18x squared. And then that would carry on, but we only know the first three terms. Okay, so part B wants to find the value of A. Now we know that the constant term in the expansion is 128. Now the only constant term that we are going to get is going to come from A times 512. So we know that 512A has to be 1, 2, 8. Dividing by um, 512 tells us then that A is equal to 1, 2, 8 over 5, 12, which is 1 quarter. So A is 1 quarter. Okay, then for part C, let's put in the value of A that we've just found. So f of x is 1 quarter and bx times 512 minus 144x and 18x squared. Okay, so we know that the second term, the x term, is 36x. So we need to see what x terms we would get from this expansion. So we're going to get uh, bx times 512. So 512 bx. And we're also going to get 1 quarter times minus 144x. So minus quarter times 144x. Now we know that has to be 36x. Now if we divide through by x, we get 512b minus um, a quarter of 144 is 36. We know that that has to equal 36. Add 36, 512b is 72. Divide by 512, b is 72 over 512, uh, which is 36 over 256, which is 18 over 128, which is 9 over 64. Cool.